but we're still with these gorgeous lines as they traipse through this long grass. Now I think they're on their way to some meat. And it's amazing, I can see the lionesses, but only hear the cubs scuttling through the undergrowth. Well, not really undergrowth, but through the long grass. But just the way the cubs are behaving, it's like they've been fetched and it's time for a meal. And uh, there we go. Now, I heard there was a male lion that made a kill somewhere around here. Now, Kyle, oh, look at this right in front of us. Oh, look at this, a little monster. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she is gorgeous. Now, remember, guys, sorry, I do need to get ID shots um, so we can work out ID kits on all the individual lines that are here. So I do apologize for the clicking of the camera, but when she looks at us, I am going to need to get an ID shot. My head okay, Dave? Yeah. Look this way, madam, please. So we're looking for all sorts of things. There we go, that's a nice side profile shot so we can count whisker spots. Very peaceful here in this morning. You can hear the ashy tits calling. Now, Carl was wondering, is there more overlap in territories in the Mara than in the sands? Oh, excuse me. Um, oh, there we go. Carl, I'll be in, in a second. Come on, front on. And she's got the very, those very distinct ears. Just need her to look, no, not going to look straight at us just yet. Um, but there we go, so that, that should be enough for us to form an ID kit for that lioness. Oh, she is very pretty. So, Carl, um, I would say probably yes, but not at this time of the year. Uh, I think when the wildebeest arrive, uh, everything gets a bit different. But at the moment, they're, they're, so far, we see, they seem to be quite set in the territories that they, they hold. And... Uh, there will be sort of similar overlap that you would get in Kruger. A little one. Isn't that magnificent? Look at those muscles. Now I'm going to ask Darby to just come out wide because this is a, a screenshot opportunity here. Look at that with that Ololo escarpment in the background. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's one of my favorite lion poses in the Mara, when those lionesses stand on top of those termite mounds. It's always better when a couple of cubs are bumbling around below as well. Okay, so I need an ID shot for the little one. Oh, look back here. There we go, that should do it. Oh dear, what's happening at Juma today? Well, at least us here in the Maasai Mara, we know how to hold on to a cat by its tail. Let's go see what happened to Ali's lion.